Good morning from Parsley Hill Spaniels and you join us mid walk today. It's Sunday the 27th of October. My, this month is going quick. Which means, as it's a Sunday, it's a Sunday saunter for Sherpa day. Not sure what Sherpa would make of all the leaves being off the trees now. Big difference. Big, big difference now. Oh, there's the vandal, Lucy. Cheesy's out with us. Lovely to see Cheesy out. How is everybody this week? Hope you've all been well. I'm going up this way, you coming? Come on then. Oh. Some are going one way, some are going another. It's been good here. The, uh, the Major had emergency surgery this week on his knee. He had a consultant appointment on Tuesday and the consultant said yes, your meniscus has definitely gone on your knee, which is the bit that holds it all together, the kneecap and everything else in place, cushions it. Um, and so you'll be hearing from somebody in one to three days with an a date for surgery. Well, that evening we heard that he was going into surgery the next day and then the next morning they phoned and said get him in ASAP. So, rushed him in on Wednesday, brought him home Wednesday afternoon. He now has no meniscus. That's all been cut out. Because what was there was jamming his knee and stopping it from locking, which is very dangerous because that means you can fall at any time. And also they tightened up his ACL, which is the, the muscle and ligaments that help work the knee. It's also known as a cruciate. So we had that done. Look at you in there. Shall we go in there? Come on then, we'll go through here. So he's resting, hopefully. I'll say that. I have left him in one place, hopefully resting with his put up but we'll see if that lasts. Oh look at those. Let's go and explore over here. See these? Very crunchy today. Look at those. Wonderful brackets aren't they? That's beautiful. That's very beautiful. Nature is wonderful isn't it? Sometimes we take it for granted. We should be more like teddies and be in wonder of it every time they come out and see it, even if it's only been two seconds since they last saw it. We should be in wonder all the time. Look after it. Well, apparently today it has threatened to put some of that white stuff down. I'm not too worried if it does because, I should say I'm not too bothered if it does, because it's not going to last, not with temperatures of plus degrees, like plus seven, so it'll be a smattering. I have a feeling Lord Sherpa is uh, testing out the white stuff, making sure it's all ready for when the big dumps come, hopefully not until January, although we may get some December. Last year was a uh, a lucky year for us. We actually had what they call a brown Christmas, which means we had no snow. Absolutely none. We didn't get any snow. Well, we'd had a, had a few smackerings, but nothing that stayed and lasted. But we had no snow on the ground and we didn't have any snow until the second week in January. So let's see if it's Swiss. Thank you. So let's see if it's the same this year. I hope so. I know everyone says, oh, white Christmas. Well, it's lovely for the first, oh, 16 years. And then you're a little bit fed up with it after that. It's nice to have a break from it and then we'll appreciate it when it does come back. There we are. So I'm hoping Lord Sherpa is, Sherpa? Sherpa? Changed his name. But Lord Sherpa is enjoying himself, investigating. There's a lot more to see now. 
That's the point, we may even see the crocs. Although I doubt it. But do shout if you see a bright orange one. Let me know. Or a black one. That would be good too. Because Mr. Swiss over there is the one that took them and has hidden them somewhere out here. So we'll have to see, won't we? Right. We're coming down Parsley Parade. In case you didn't know. I think we'll go up Eric Esplanade and down Cheesy Crescent and along Boogie all the way. And then we'll go and do the west side, I think. Give these plenty of time to explore everywhere. So what has everybody got going on this week? Got all your Halloween plans done, going to Halloween parties, having the children over, or grandkids, or are you just hunkering down and pretending that you're not in when the tap comes on the door for trick-or-treating? Or are you doing like we normally do and stick a huge bucket out outside with a a little sign that says Happy Halloween, help yourselves, please stay safe. Should we go that way? Not that way, don't we? Could do. No, we'll go this way. Come on then, Ted. Um, Lucy, you're being a vandal again, are you? Thank you. Lucy the vandal. Not sure if I'm going to dress up this year and hand out some candy, sweeties. Or just put the tub and the sign down at the bottom. Have to see. Have to see how the major is with his leg. Already had to redress it twice because he bled profusely. But luckily I'm quite used to restitching him after things, so get the needle out. You do it. Should we go this way then? Come on. Biggie. Come on, Biggie Mama. Eric! Cheesy's left us, have you noticed? Come on then, Lucy. I'm sure Eric will come and find us in a minute. Well, grass haven't been in yet, which is a shame. Excuse me a second. Oh, my nose. There we are. The trees are going back to that state of hibernation where you can just about see buds and things and you think, oh, it's just about to burst into leaf, but not for a few months yet. There's, you see, the hazelnut there. Oops. Yeah. That hasn't been taken off. Oh, stick in the eye. And those, you see what I was saying about the creepers, they turn from green to red. Everybody has to look. And then carpet the woodland trails. Lovely. Off we go. Oh, down this way. Come on. Crunch, 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 crunch. That's a nice one. Week after next, I've got to take two of ours to the vets. That's Adelaide and Gladys, their rabies jabs, get their boosters done. It's every three years here. 
and everybody's up to date. They don't bother with the other injections because they don't really meet up with other dogs apart from Rupert. And Rupert's all inoculated anyway. But they do get jabbed when they're puppies and have all their jabs. So they're good at they're good for parvo and distemper and everything we're in Adelaide. <laughs> Thought she was gonna come and knock my legs out from under me. There we are. Right. That one down. That's what's long over. And these bits here and that bit over there. Come from that tribe. Go this way? Oh, just the one that I had to move out of the way. Have you been watching our spooky nighttime videos? Doing the spooky walks and spooky ghost tales from Tower of London. So much happened there when we lived there. It's one of those places that it's only when you've come away from there that you realise how much did happen there and how much history and the majesty of it all. I remember being sat on a park bench by the White Tower, which is the tower that everybody thinks of as the Tower of London. About midnight one night, sitting outside with a glass of wine with the Major. Quiet night. You could just about hear Oh, there's a dog. You could just about hear the uh, traffic in the background. But what you could hear was a beautiful blackberry. Blackberry? Blackbird singing. You have to excuse me a second, I've got to go and sort out some teddies. Well, as you can hear, they're still having a bark. We've had to... Adelaide doesn't know what she's barking at now. I think she's doing barks just for the sheer hell of it. Come on, let's go this way. It was all because a teddy came running up to the fence line. That wasn't one of our teddies. Yeah. Anyway, I was saying about the Tower of London and how it just sat there listening to the blackbird at that time of night. It's magnificent. All the history. Looking at now, are you? Eric's down there somewhere, probably thinking about causing trouble. Come on, there's nobody there. I can see our fence line now. Put the uh, where the green is. You can imagine that going all along. That's our westerly most fence line. No, he's down there. Come on! Oh, can't whistle. Isn't it awful when you can't whistle? Oh, there he is. Just see a flash. There he is. I know. Go on. What, should we do baby boot to bash? Come on then. Let's do baby boot to bash. Come along here. I'm sure Sherpy wouldn't be like that. He does as he's told, not like you, what? Another one of those? He's going down there to investigate. Don't blame him. For investigating where he's been, do we? He's pretending he's a guard dog now. He's not, he's a spaniel. <coughs> Any chance? Maybe there's a croc in here. 
Hmm? You know what you're barking at. Come on, there's nobody there. I know all your barks. That's one of your... I'm just going to bark to see if anybody answers. And if somebody answers, then I can go into my full bark. And if I don't like them, I'll go into a nasty bark. But he doesn't do that very often. This is their property. This is their woods. Their trails. And we're honoured to be able to look after them and go with them and have them in our lives. And as we put the we'll carry on this way, carry on to the centre. And we'll come up onto Branston Boulevard. rolling in something disgusting. Swiss! Yeah. That's eating something disgusting. And the else's teddies do that. Eat disgusting things. Mine don't do it all the time. It's only a couple of them that do it. It's Gladys right up there. You coming, Gladys? Oh, has got a hotel wagon. We're down here. Gladys! Gladys! There she is. She's a good girl. Come on. Miss Gladys in my mirror. Yeah. Oh, sniffles. Always wanted a Gladys in my mirror. Yes. Always wanted a Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Come on then, let's go. Named her after the character in Open All Hours, the nurse Gladys Emanuel. Always wanted a Gladys. It just so happened that she was the seventh to come out. So she was going to be called a G anyway, so we did it alphabetically. She was out. You found a squirrel, haven't you? So she got to be called Gladys. Hmm? Some nettles still out. Go on. Up there. A French lilac on the side of the drive has actually started to shed its leaves. I think it's acknowledging that we're in autumn now. And we've got about three weeks and then winter will hit the really cold temperatures. And of course some of our chimpkins have decided to do a full molt now. And it's going to take them about four weeks to grow the feathers back. So, hmm. Don't put any heat in the coop because I don't want it catching fire. Quite happy up there, aren't you? Look at you. Do you mind missing cheese and um, Adelaide? There's Adelaide. Gladys, Edward, Lucy. Oh, Boogie. We're well, missing Boogie as well. Oh no, there she is. Eric. So there's seven of them. That's cheese is talking to Sherpa. I can't go this way. I want to bounce some boulevard. There we go. Up we go. All quiet. Beautiful Sunday morning. The only thing that disturbed it was you lot having a bark. Never mind. Oh, they're all so happy with their tails going. Oh, 
we go. Up we go. Oh, my ankle made it, that was good. Oh, there's cheesy. Let's have a look, see what's in the fire pit. So keep looking in the fire pit. I'm wondering, oh, that's what's in there. We've got an old bag of uh, kibble. I think it's got food in. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, we're back up the top there. So, until the next time, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we'll see you all soon. Stay safe. Happy sniffs.